If you have a rotator cuff tear in your shoulder and you want to recover from it without surgery, what types of injections or shots could you get? What's the best option for your treatment? I'm Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. This video I'm creating uh, for you as part of my Ask the Doctor video series based on questions that you've left me in the comments to videos on my channel. And I get a lot of questions about rotator cuff tears, a lot of questions about cortisone shots, a lot of questions about PRP and a number of different regenerative treatments. First of all, and this isn't going to be uh, videos going through all the ins and outs of what a rotator cuff is. I've got a number of videos on my channel, so you can check those out. But namely, these are the rotator cuff are muscles off the shoulder blade. There's four of them that turn into tendons that run under the tip of your shoulder. You can kind of see them on this model here. And they attach to the ball of the ball and socket joint. And what those rotator cuff muscles and tendons do is help lift your arm up overhead uh, out away from your body or behind your back or stabilize the ball in the socket while the bigger muscles move your overhead out away from your body or behind your back. And if you have a tear, a lot of times it's either some internal degeneration within that tendon or a partial tear, and it's reasonable to try to overcome that partial rotator cuff tear or rotator cuff tendinosis without surgery. And so then it gets to what other treatments there are. And I'm a big, big proponent of physical therapy. And I've even recorded videos about physical therapy exercises you can do to try to overcome rotator cuff impingement uh, and rotator cuff tendinosis or partial tears. But the question that I get so often is, would a cortisone shot help? Would a PRP or something like exosomes help? And I have recorded a number of videos on why I am not big on cortisone treatments for a number of injuries and rotator cuff problems are one of those. There is a study that has shown that rotator cuff, well, actually a couple that show rotator cuff injuries. If you do cortisone, especially multiple cortisone shots, that that can actually weaken the tendon, make it less likely to heal and more likely that you need surgery. Also, people that have undergone a cortisone shot within six months of ultimately undergoing a rotator cuff repair surgery have a much higher failure rate of that surgery. And so I am a big believer in trying to get over it without steroid injections, without cortisone shots. People ask, and you'll see it if you go through the comments of some of my videos, why does my doctor not tell me or why did he or she not offer something like PRP, which doesn't have that risk and instead just pushed a cortisone shot? And, you know, there's a lot of reasons, but one, the cortisone shot gives you very quick relief within a day or two. Now, how long of relief that is, if if it even gives you relief, is subject to some debate. It doesn't really very well treat the underlying problem, but if it makes the patient happy, even for a few days or a few weeks, that makes the orthopedic surgeon, or at least a lot of them, happy. Uh, but some may not have things like PRP or be able to do stem cells or exosomes, uh, and that may be why. Plus, a lot of those treatments don't offer the very quick pain relief that so many patients want. And so while I'm a bigger believer in treatments like PRP, treatments like some of the regenerative treatments compared to steroid injections, namely cortisone shots, that's a lot of times why people won't do it. So there can be reasons a, a steroid shot might be right for you. That would have to be a discussion between you and your orthopedic surgeon. But that's sort of my thoughts on why does my doctor just push cortisone on me and not offer regenerative treatments? That are Those could be some of the options. Now, if you have an orthopedic injury like a rotator cuff tear and you want to hear about options other than surgery and other than cortisone shots, click the link in the description under this video. You can fill out a contact form to hear more about scheduling an appointment to see me as a patient. I'd also love to hear your experience with your rotator cuff tear. Leave those in the comments below. Just know that if you leave a question in the comments, I can't give you medical advice, but I might answer your question in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video, and when I start my next live stream, including my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. Thanks for watching. I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.